Hello, guys. It's late. Jamming out. The romance in me. We'll see who's on here. Happy Valentine's Day. Love is in the air, guys. This is Happy Valentine's Day self-love style. It's super weird coming on here not having my people, but I guess I'm getting used to it. I'm trying to. I love you guys. I'm Sarah Richardson. If you don't know me, I'm bringing that love juice. Let's see if anyone gets on here. Hi, Chastity. Maybe if I can make this like a little bit smaller. My information technology is not the greatest. <laughs> Hello, love. So I've been romancing the heck out of myself. Have you been romancing yourself, girl? I know my friends romance themselves. I've been taking this whole month to do it. I haven't really been sharing too much with you guys, but I've been taking this whole month to romance myself. You guys all know my baby's birthday is at the end of the month, and so I feel like the whole month is my month to celebrate that I, I did all that. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. So, have you? How? Show, tell me some ways, Chastity, that you've been romancing yourself. I'm excited to know because, like, for me, I've been getting body work done, so I've been getting energy work done, and I've been getting massages done, and I've been getting reflexology done, and I've been getting facials done. I've been doing my toes. Um, been taking my special baths. I've been making myself special dinners. Strawberries and chocolate. Yes, girl, I got some strawberries. And my dad had some chocolate today. Uh, been wearing my favorite clothes. You know, it's we don't get very much sun around here. Yes, girl. Just took a good one tonight. Got that geranium and the rose. Um, I like to wear bright clothes whenever the sun doesn't come out. So, like, that, like, brightens up my day or whatever. Um, conversations. I've been loving my conversations with all kind of people all over the place. You know, I'm even finding that it seems like I'm having new conversations with people that I have. I'm having new conversations with different people now. Um, you know, new adventures in the name of love, new adventures in business. There's all kind of things happening, right? So at the same time that I am romancing myself, one of the big jobs that I have out here is teaching my baby how to love her through this time, right? So all my moms out there, special love to you because we have work to do, right? So through all the crazy that everyone's feeling out here, um, we're raising these babies and we're raising them in love and we're raising them to be patient and we're raising them to be loving and to trust themselves and to trust this journey and this path, right? And so shout out to all my moms out there for Valentine's Day because it's big work, but it's the most loving work that you have. Painted my toes, I miss the sun too, we'll return, yes. I know, I just painted my toes today. I popped on my bright shirt. I said, ah, ah we need this, right? Um, shout out to my sister tonight. My sister, Aunt BU, took the kids and had a big sleepover with everybody. And so I got to love on me. And so that's what I do on my time off. I love on me. So I did all the things I needed to do, had my house clean, got my bath, did my toes, did my hair. These are the things that you do for yourself, right? So what kind of ways are you loving yourself? What kind of ways are you romancing yourself? What kind of ways are you showing yourself love right now? You know, it's Valentine's Day. That doesn't always have to mean that you need a partner. How do you love yourself? You know, when we love ourselves, we attract every single thing that we desire to us. And so... That's why I bring this love juice. That's why I pump this love juice. Um, so, you know, 
how do you do your me time? What, what do you do for your me time? Do you have me time? Do you make me time? Don't tell me that you can't have me time because I'm a single mom and I have me time. I have a lot of me time too. Like I wake up early for my me time or, you know, I go to bed late for my me time. I, I get a babysitter and do my me time. That's how things happen sometimes. So lately, what I've been learning um, is I got to just love me. I got to just be instead of trying so hard. I'm trying to, trying to figure it out, right? Because the more you just love you and the more you just, your internal frequency is that you love you, the more you just attract people and things and situations that love you too, Hello, hello, Joseph, hello, Peter. Um, you know, I've been like being in this neutral position where um, everything is just like kind of unfolding in that place. And, you know, it's funny because I remember our snowstorm, I was talking about neutral because we were talking about, you know, when you drive in a snowstorm, you put your car in neutral so you don't get, lose control. And, and, you know, in life, you put your your car in neutral too so you don't lose control you know we don't want to be too far in the past and, and all those things that happened back there and then we don't want to be like too up in the future and and what can happen we kind of just want to be in that middle in that right now you know in that heart in that anchor in the middle of it all you know in the middle of everything hello lovely um so you know guys we're constantly attracting things at our frequency. And so if you're messaging me and you're like super pumped about life, I know that the things that you're going to attract are going to like make you even super more pumped. And if you're messaging me and you're in the doo-doo, I know that eventually you're going to message me and you're going to have some more doo-doo things to talk about because, you know, we attract that of which we vibrate. And so if you've been through some things out here in your past, if you're if you keep going back to the past, if you keep you know if that keeps coming up you need to face that thing and you need to get to the core of that thing so you can be free from that thing so you can keep moving so you can raise your vibration so you can attract all that you truly desire you know the bad things don't happen so, to hold us down the bad things happen so we learn how to face them and free ourselves from those things but you have free will on if you face it or if you let it just keep dragging you um, there are so many levels to loving yourself. I love you. You know, I've been on this journey. I, I just looked at my, uh, thing today. It was like, it's been like six or seven years that I really been pretty deep on this self-love journey. And like, there's not been one day where it's like, there's not anything to do. It, it, there's not been one time where a story or a meeting with someone didn't reveal something to me. There's not been one time where I felt like I was running out of ways to love myself or running out of things to do. Um, this shit goes super deep, man. So you have your mental body, you have your spiritual body, you have your physical body, you have your energetic body. You have all of these things to get inside and explore about yourself. You shouldn't really even have any other time to be thinking about other things, to be letting your mind wander to other things. You know, the, you have a world of things to worry about in you. You have your whole entire planet to worry about. You have to worry about, you know, how are things functioning on your planet? You know, who are you letting into your planet? Who are you letting affect your frequency and your vibration, guys? Sometimes these things happen so easy. You know, we could just be thinking that we're learning about our love and then next thing you know someone's vibration is attracting our is is distracting our frequency we could be thinking that we're learning about money and somebody's vibration can be distracting our frequency and that's okay as long as you can go back to the center go back to neutral go back to the heart go back to self-love regroup yourself bring your vibes back up you know there's no mistakes in this so you know, you can vibe up high and then you could go down in the doo-doo and then you could come back up, right? And, but there's no right or wrong. And so how long you stay in the doo-doo is like, how do you 
label you in the doo-doo? How do you label that space for yourself? Um, you know, guys, every single one of us is at a different level. And so, you know, for Valentine's Day, I was talking to my sisters. I love my sisters. And we were talking about, you know, just loving people for a rate where they are right now in their lives. And that's deep. You know, a lot of times these relationships, we don't even realize that we, we want to mold certain relationships into things that we're comfortable with. We want to, you know, mold these things so they, they work, you know, but sometimes there's a bigger, there's a bigger picture, there's a bigger meaning. And so the more that you're in that neutral space and the more that you let people be who they are and the more that you just ride that wave of that that's real love you know real love isn't wishing that someone would be clean real love isn't wishing that somebody would be happy you know real love is just like i love you even though you can't get clean i love you even though you can't be happy right now i, I love you and i hope that you eventually get there and i'm not going to hold that against you if you don't get there i love you anyways that's love unconditional love you know how do you feel when someone tries to put you in a box yeah girl I, this has been deep spirit's been going deep on me lately you know i'm trying to love people the way i want to be loved i want i want to be free i want to be free to make friends i want to be free to to run my business the way i want to i want to be free to raise my daughter the way i want to i want to be free to talk to people the way i want to 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 me you know everything and so i want that that i want to attract that to somebody where we don't even really need too many words about that like yeah love is free you know yes i love you but go be free right live life live you know you can't be in someone's box you can't you know it's hard enough to uh you know keep up with yourself let alone somebody else. And so, you know, when you fully love yourself, then you attract someone that fully loves themselves. And then that way, you know, even when you are in a relationship, you could take your Valentine's Day and romance yourself. You know, I believe that when I finally do have a relationship and I have a Valentine's Day and I want to romance myself, my partner is going to know that I love to do that for myself. My partner is going to, you know, maybe even help me do that, right? Because that's what you want, I'm getting there one hug at a time. Yeah. Oh, I got a good hug the other day. I yeah, there ain't nothing like good hugs, right? Um, so if you find me on Facebook, I know that you're doing this work. I know that you're going in and loving yourself. I know that loving yourself sometimes feels like the silliest thing ever. I know sometimes the things that your body tells you that you need to do sometimes seem out of this world. I know that when you're healing, the things that you can let out of your body are the craziest things in the world. Um, but guys, you know, we are learning to trust ourselves. We are learning to trust our bodies. We are learning to trust the feelings that we have inside of us. And so as you take these steps to love yourself, you start to build that trust muscle. You know, does that mean that you're like, boom, right on it? No. And that you're making like winning decisions? Absolutely not. But, you know, the more you build that intuition and the more you build that trust muscle, um, you know, the more that you can even start to trust your you know, you want to trust your intuition and your logic like the same, right? So that's the masculine and the feminine inside of you. And so you want to be, you want to be like magical, but logical at the same time. And how do you do that? You have to be the observer. You have to be in neutral. You have to be, you know, willing to move and change things. You can't be so stuck on one idea, right? So... This divine masculine and feminine in you, this is the wholeness, you know, and, and we all have these different areas where maybe the divine masculine um, had gotten hurt or maybe the divine feminine had gotten hurt or maybe that was happened when you were a child and maybe that happened when you were in your 20s or your 30s or just recently or whatever, right? So 
you are getting into that and, and, and so your feminine your divine feminine is your is your intuition and what you feel and that stuff and then your divine masculine is like your logical am i making logical choices does this seem like a logical thing does this seem you know you you, you want to find that balance inside of yourself these are the things that you're reaching out to other people to ask them for when you have to learn how to trust that in you hi love um, you know, we need to really just love the people that we have right where they are. And so that way we'll start to attract more people that just love us right where we are. Right. So, you know, maybe you're not on the same level as someone else. Maybe they started before you and maybe you passed them up, maybe the vice versa. Right. There's all kind of different ways that this stuff can go. And so, you know, that's why I believe in universal fate. That's why I believe in the constant pushes and pulls in life, right? Because sometimes we're not strong enough to push something out of our lives or something. Sometimes we're not strong enough by ourselves to pull something into our lives where, you know, that universal fate is like our help. And so sometimes in our help, you know, we might lose somebody that we really love or we might change a job that we really loved or we might move a city that from a city that we really love. But you know, fate is moving you and it's giant sometimes and it's little sometimes, but either way, you know, there's a bigger picture. And so changes happen and they happen for a bigger reason. And every once in a while we need to step back a little bit and get a bigger picture of what is going on. If, if you just look at one moment, then it's really easy to hone in on the really good times or the really crazy times of that one moment but when you step back a little bit you can say oh well that led to that led to that led to that I love that right and and so people are like are you crazy Sarah you you no I like to step back I like to see why that happened to me right so you know it's so easy guys to get to try to think it out love right Give me some hearts if you ever tried to think out love. I'm a Libra. I'm an air sign. So I'm like, I'm I'm a feelings thinker. <laughs> um, you know, guys, we've all had like past fuckery and past greatness. And we all tend to think a mix of those things, right? But, you know, I want you to really take a step back. And I want you to really look at it and be thankful. Like feel it in your bones. Feel the thankfulness in your bones for all the fuckery and all the greatness and that whole mix that makes you who you are. You know, guys, we're constantly planting seeds. So whether there's some fuckery going on or whether there's some greatness going on, you're planting seeds. You're planting seeds. You're creating things, right? And so you're going to plant the seed at a vibration and then you're going to attract when that seed sprouts at a vibration, think about that guys so you know are you thinking what you want or are you rolling around in past fuckery are you thinking about you know the the greatness what what is carrying you forward what is your momentum forward is it the past fuckery or is it the greatness what you know what is that for you when your focus is you then that's peace you know, when you know what you love, then you attract what you love. When <sighs> we've all been through some things, guys, you know, me for sure, you know, in the past three years, especially um, in love and business, I have been through some shit. I've been through some shit, man. I've had people rip me all around the place. I've had people take my stuff. I've had all kind of things happen my energy, my time, but I did that all. I did that all. I did that all. That I, You know, that would be giving someone too much credit if I would say that that was all, you know, somebody else's fault. All of those things happened to bring me to some next level shit. All of those things happened so I could realize that I was planting seeds even while that was happening. All of those things happen to let me know that you can create again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And again. Um, you know, 
so at the same time that I went through some fuckery and some greatness at the same time, I was also planting some great seeds in those times, right? So right now what's happening in my life is like the old stuff is like disappearing. You know, it's like when you're pruning your tree or something. So like the old stuff is like disappearing and the new stuff is like coming into my life. And there was no like time period where I could say, all right, well, hold on. Let me see how, you know, no, it's just like light. Fate is keeps bringing these things to me with, you know, letting me know that are, it's things that I thought into my life. It's things that I created into my life. I'm thinking of a new job for my highest good of my life. I now have a great woman in my life. I'm so happy for you, Mark. I knew you were wanting that. Um, yeah, new work is fun, man. You know, plant the seeds and then go spend some time with your girl and, and don't even think about it and watch them come to fruit. You know, that's that's what we have to do. We have to plant these seeds and not focus so hard on them. We have to plant these seeds and, and go play and go have fun. And, and however it is that we have fun, you know, to Mark, it's his girl. To Angela, it might be her grandkids. You know, whatever. Everyone to each their own. To me, it might be my toenails and, you know, whatever you want. My little sativa pen, right? Yep, moving on up. I'm so thankful. Yeah, feel that, Mark. Feel that down in your bones, man. Like, I, I, I feel you. I feel you from this. Thank you, my love. I know that you've been going through so many things. And, um, yeah, feel that. Feel that. Feel all of that, that thankfulness. I'm thankful too, Mark. I, you know, I've been through some shit just like you. You know, just different. Just different shit. But we've been through some shit, right? And, and new stuff is coming up and, and, and it's not just for me, it's for you, it's for everyone. You know, nobody is left behind unless, unless you leave your own self behind in this. Nobody is left out. You know, this is for everyone. That's what's so fucking cool about love is like, there's enough out here for every single person who watches this video ever to have everything that they ever desired in their hearts. But it does take work. It does take self-work. It does take self-discipline. It does take going in and learning yourself and how to trust yourself and how to believe in yourself and to trust in the power in yourself. There's a lot of work to do there. Um, so, you know, one of my big things that I've been learning about lately is how to be a little bit more vulnerable, you know, how to, how to trust in this love space and in this business space. Um, you know, and it's like trust and, and be optimistic and be hopeful in ways that like, I've never been hurt. Does anyone feel that? You know, where it's like, okay, but the truth is, is that I have been hurt in those spaces. Bad, crazy, weird shit, right? But I have to, you know, I, I, I had to clean off my slate. I had to go back to self-love. I had to come back to my center. I had to come back to my neutral. I had to come back to my middle. And now I have to go out here and I have a business meeting and I have a new love adventure and I have to go out here and live like I have never been hurt. I have to, you know, approach these things like I've never been hurt. I have to trust in me and in what brought these things to me that they can be fresh and new and trusted and fun and fluffy. Um... But, you know, guys, I did get hurt. And so you don't just want to pass up that hurt and ignore it like you've never been hurt. You want to get to the core of being hurt. You want to feel that hurt. You want to cry that out. You, you want to let that, you want to feel all of that. Because when you just ignore it and go past it, then it's going to come back to you again. Um, you know... After I got to the core of it, these things that hurt me in business and in love, I learned to love the journey of it. I learned to not look at it with such, oh, I learned to just be like, whoa, thanks. Like that was some pretty big stuff that we did. And uh, that definitely got me to this next spot that I'm at. And so thank you, because without that, I wouldn't have been ready for this. Thank you, because, you know, without you 
being that part of my life, I wouldn't be this strong today. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know, just like Mark was saying, feel that and really feel how good that feels. It's hard to trust, but you're all right. We have to start over and feel anew. That's what we are learning. Yeah, yeah, we do. It's new out here. It's new and it feels good. <laughs> um, I get it, guys. You know, trusting is tough after you've been through some shit. Um, really tough sometimes, you know, you, and you can weeble wobble back and forth, right? So you can be like, yeah, yeah, I'm going it. I'm trusting the world. And then you're like, ah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck is this. Can someone please explain to me my heart? No, no. No one can. This is your life. This is your planet. This is your journey. You pick it. You change it. You fix it. You heal it. You bring it up. You bring it down. You make it sleep. That's what you do. You know, guys, loving yourself is trusting in yourself. Trusting in the changes. Trusting in the unknown. Loving yourself is trusting in your intuition. Trusting in the feels of it. What does that thing make you feel like? What does that person make you feel like? Loving yourself is trusting in the power of yourself. You know, you're a powerful creator, man. Do you guys know how powerful you are as creators? Super. Super. And and the more you love yourself, the more you start to love the creation of that, of what is you. Like, you know, when I look at my life and my days and my mornings and my conversations and, and how, you know, people maybe I didn't get along with, I am, and people that I was putting up with that now they're not here. And, you know, there, there's so many like pieces of the pie to the self love that like, you can never get bored. You can never get bored. We are all broken, but being broken together, we are all one. Yeah, Mark, I believe that we're all whole. Um, I believe we're all whole, and I believe we're like sold this illusion that we are so broken. And I believe that it is a journey, and I believe that there are some times it hurt, but I believe we are all whole. Um, but I do believe we're all one, for sure. You know, a lot of old programming that we're breaking out of. So if you're doing the programming reboot and, and all that. I love your guts, man. Um, when you fully love you, no one can do anything to you. That's deep. When you fully love you, no one can do anything to you. No one can make you do anything. You are powerful. This, this body, this temple of yours, it's to do as you wish with it. This isn't to be like anyone else. This is, you know, just following your own heart and trusting in your own self sometimes is hard enough, right? So this is powerful stuff. This, you know, breathe in, take a deep breath in, take one second, take a deep breath in. Okay, take one, three, five breaths like that, right? Talk to your body. Talk to your body. My friend shared a post the other day about diets and how, you know, he's a fitness fanatic. He has a great, successful fitness company, and he teaches people to trust their bodies on the things that they need to eat. And so, you know, I, I do feel the same way about that, but I also feel like, you know, you can talk to your body about everything that you need to do. You know, sometimes your body's going to tell you, go dance, go swim, go have a drink, go sleep, Go eat, go stretch, go meet a new person, go do something new, go stretch your mind, go stretch your body. So trust what you hear your body tell you back. When you do these breathing exercises, when you ask your body what does it need, trust what you hear. Think about it, feel that, what it would be like to do that, and then act on it somehow. Small little energetic things will change it, right? And so as you start to work with this energy in you, you start to build that trust. You start to build the trust with your intuition. You start to build the trust with your logic. You start to build the trust in yourself as you start to play. You know, play with the world. Play with the universe. Play with asking it is given. Play with the laws of attraction. Play with love and see what happens in your life so many people talk about relationships right now. 
it's Valentine's Day, um, you know, love is in the air, and then a lot of people are feeling like, oh, I don't have love, so I'm less than everyone else or whatever. Guys, I've been loving on me since forever. I've been... You know, I used to, <laughs> I used to get all the single moms and, and people that just broke up and stuff. I used to get them all flowers for Valentine's Day. Now I say, fuck that. I get me Valentine's Day flowers. I take me a bath. I do my toes. I light my candles. I smell, you know, my house is smelling like geraniums and rose. My bathtub was like geraniums and rose. And then eventually whenever I meet a partner, my partner's going to know that I like to do all of those things because that's going to be why I attracted my partner. Because they're like me like that. I don't want somebody who doesn't want me like that. Um, so most of you don't have a great relationship with yourself if you're sitting by yourself yearning for another. Because like, I'm just rolling with what tomorrow brings for me. With, you know, I, I know I have plans for my baby and... I have to take my dad to the hospital. If you guys want to send my... I have an eyelash in my eye. If you guys want to send my dad some love, he has some slip discs in his back right now. And he's having a hard time walking. And so we've been making some huge uh, energetic movements in the name of love with the Divine Masculine lately. He's been letting me um, give him love. He's been letting me do energy work on him, rub his feet. Um... You know, I don't look at life the way most of you look at life. I I look at those things like, you know, I'm making some huge changes out here. You know, and even if that just means that my dad lets me just love on him. You know, he didn't let anyone do that for a long time. He was tough and he, he was fine at all time. And so now he's just like letting the love come in and he's, he's able to receive. And so I, I'm loving seeing that. So if you have any time, send my dad some love. We're going to meet up with some surgeons. I think that um, back surgery is definitely going to be going on for him. But like I told him, I believe that the body can heal from anything. And, you know, there are steps and levels to this self-love. And so, yes, I do believe in healing, but sometimes we do need the doctors. Yes, I'll be sending him love. Thank you, love. Uh, you know, I got to go in there with my notebook and then meet up with my healers and, and see what the hell is going on. And if I... And feeling all this and if we're doing the right thing. Um, you know, guys, the more you love yourself, the more you put yourself in alignment with universal fate. And so if you keep trying so hard in life and you don't seem like you're getting anywhere, you just then you need to just kind of let go a little bit and fall into that love wave and let that love wave bring you people, places, and things that you desire with your heart. Quit trying so hard. Just be. You know, the more you love yourself, the more you're able to just be yourself. It's a pretty beautiful thing. Um, you know, guys, I don't want to bring my old doo-doo into my new stuff. I don't want to bring those things that hurt me in love and business into my new love and my new business. I, I, I want to leave that shit alone. I want to leave that shit back there. I love who I am and what I've been blessed with and all the lessons that I've been through. Absolutely, Mark. I agree with you. I, I love you and I love me too and what I've been through and, and all of that too. Um, you know... Lately, we've been like kind of like gently moving away from what's no longer working for us. So like Mark's work, you know, Mark, you're gently going to move away from your work. It's not going to be this abrupt thing. And I think that's what a lot of people have been learning is that they can gently change things in the name of love. It doesn't always have to be like this big, huge blowout. It can, it can just be like gentle, subtle changes. Um, honor the journey. Honor the damn journey get back to self-love no matter where you veer off or veer down the path just always come back to self-love just always come back and regroup and get back into self-love it's like we've all been in intuition logic school lately right so i think we've all been learning that like how to trust our intuition how to trust our logic find peace in all of it 
find peace in the things that we're creating or bringing up or not, you know, be at peace with how long it took us to face certain things with ourselves, right? We all have certain things. It's all these slices to the pie and whatever kind, whatever you want to focus on is whatever you want to focus on. And wherever you're depleted, that's, that's where you need to focus. Not everybody knows because most of the time people hide that stuff. I've been alone from 07, have loved me for so long, I feel good, alone. I don't know if I want anyone in my life, I've been alone too long now. You know what, girl, I've been alone a long time too, and I'm so glad you brought that up because, you know, thinking about just being around somebody is like, oh, wow, like, I haven't been around anybody in a long time, I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> I love you for that. Um, you know, I mean, I just want to take every day as it comes to me. I just want to take every single thing as it comes to me. I don't want to restrict life. I don't want to squeeze it off. I don't want to put expectations on anything. I don't want to put attachments to anything. I just want to live free. I just want to float around. I just want to, you know, I, I want my fate to come to me. I want to keep my vibration high. I don't want to be expecting anything from anyone or anything. I just want to be like, in shock at the magic that goes on in the world. It's a beautiful dance of love every day. It is. It is. It is really. Um, you know, guys, we're working on things. We're all working on things. Be an encourager. You know, it, it's, it's Valentine's Day. It's about to be Valentine's Day. Encourage the hell out of people to follow their hearts. Encourage them to love themselves. Encourage them to take time for themselves to to create good things that they want. If you hear your friend start talking about the past and their day to say, hey, listen, do you want that or do you want some new shit? Because when you want some new shit, we have to think of some new shit. You know, dance with your friends a little bit. Don't get so um, stuck on this love relationship. Learn how to be intimate with yourself and romance yourself in that way your inner relationships become more intimate and more, you know, gr more great. The more you love, love yourself, the more great your life becomes. Magic happens in the unknown. And so, you know, I know that we're trying to know and, and kind of control where we're going, but that's when we pinch it off. You know, the magic happens in the unknown. And I, I have a huge business meeting coming up at the end of the week. And it came out of the unknown. And I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this, right? So I've been just getting ready and turning on my music and plugging away at what I want to do. And then I have a huge thing coming up at the end of the month. My baby's turning four years old. And there's like all these things. But I have to stay neutral. I can't let it get, you know, even whether you're too excited or too low, you still have to stay in the middle because like, you can get too excited and like spin out of control or you can go too low and like spin down into the doom. So you have to stay in the middle. You have to stay in the heart. You have to keep, you know, I can't just hold my breath until the end of the month. I have to live every day. I can't just um, hold my breath until the end of the week to this business meeting. I have to, you know, for the end of the month and the end of the week, I have to think of things that I love on these things. And so that's what you have to do. If you have big things coming up, you have to think of the things that you love. You have to think of the greatness, to pour greatness into your opportunities. You know, I have these chances to do these things and if I hold any kind of expectation on them or any kind of attachment to them, I could just pinch it straight off and just ruin it. Where if I just stay in a neutral position and I just float in the love wave, then you never know, guys. Magic might happen there. If you're too attached, you just push it away. If you're too focused, you just push it away. And so plant the seeds and then go play. Go have fun. Stay curious about you. Stay curious about self-love. Stay curious about your greatness. I love you guys. I love you because we're all connected. One love.